think I've ever cringed at myself this hard in my life. Enjoy! Okay, we're focused. Yeah, I'm back in my apartment in Berlin now. As you can see the change of scenery in the background. I've just been making sure that the cats readjust well. Wow! This is the lovely apartment. I love it here. It's so cozy and comfortable. Exactly what I imagined my apartment to be when I was younger. Very much of giving 2000s. Yeah, I just recently added these magazine beds to kind of make this wall a bit more full because it was a bit empty. I am not a minimalist. I like color and a lot of stuff being around. Stop it! The bed. Cat utensils. This is the kitchen. <laughs> it's very kind of put together. Messy. My coffee machine, which I love. Although I make it easy for myself now and use the espresso machine. That's basically it. This is the apartment. Do you love it? You better. Tonight I'm going to the theater, which is really cool. I am gonna get ready for that and I'm gonna probably take you with me. Look at this angel. It's a little angel in there. Just a little angel. <laughs> boop, boop. Bitch, why are you looking at me? I'm just cleaning myself. Hi, Milo. Oh my god, are you doing a feet handshake with me? How cute are these? Well, look who we've got here. This is Mrs. Maggie. She is one year. Her birthday is the 21st of July. That is your birthday. This is her brother. This is Mr. Milo. I also like to call him Mr. Chunky, Mr. Mistopheles. He goes by many different names. They're all very fancy and established because look at him. He deserves that. Hi. Oh, kisses. I tend to uh, give them too much love. They also talk in a baby voice like this when I talk to them, but that's okay. Sure. Sure. I gave birth to them. Someone's stuck. That's one thing about having cats. You will never again have clothing with no cat hair on it. These beings lose so much hair. I always have it everywhere in my face, in my clothing. But it is worth it. And look at the paws! Look at the paws! Chat! Anyways, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm about to go to the cinema. The theater. And this is... Look. I used to be really fancy when I went to the like, theater all the time, like wear like dresses and stuff, but nowadays I just feel like it's not about that anymore. It's about what we're gonna see. And yep, it's a look. And I got this bag, thrifted from a flea market in Berlin. I think it's so cool because I've been wanting one like this a while. It's like this. I was thinking about wearing like this pink crochet jacket, but the thing is that it is 20 degrees. So I think this black jacket is just better generally. Okay, scratch everything I just said. We did end up going with this one. I don't know. It's just this wide top. I mean, you could also wear the leather jacket with it. Mm. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Again, change of outfit. This is what we're going with. We have the white shirt, which is a bit like see-through, but in a nice way. We have the brown cargo composable pants, black leather jacket, which I love, and the hoops. Straight hair and this bag. Loved. Okay, quick little story time before I do my makeup. Okay, editing me here. This is not gonna be a quick story time. This is gonna be a good few minutes. So if you're not interested in skin related topics and story times, skip to minute 8.30. I don't know if you can see this now. Oh, there it is. I want to like talk about like skin on social media and skin in movies and series and everywhere. I did struggle with really bad skin when I was like a teenager. When I was in high school, I had 
acne and I was really unhappy with that back then because was it like 2015 or something 2014 there wasn't much skin influences like on Instagram yet in general like the platform wasn't as big as it is now I never really got to see young people embracing the flaws of their skin and being okay with that you know what I mean and pimples and acne because it's a different thing I'd say especially acne was always kind of taboo thing you always wanted to cover it, it wasn't good if you showed it, people would always immediately be like oh you're unhygienic, you're not washing your face right, are you eating unhealthy, which can be causes of acne but mainly acne is something that's genetic, and if you have it you can do thousands of things and take care of your skin, eat healthy and you would still have acne and I was one of those people, I did everything I could to get rid of that acne the exposure right now. Like I did peelings that were really intense and uh, I would do what you call it like skin cleaning where they just you know get rid of pimples and everything. My skin would also not get better and then I also started taking birth control since I was really young. I didn't even need to take it yet at that point. Like I started I think when I was like 14 or something but I started taking it because I wanted my skin to get better. It was so important to me for some reason. Now when I see all these beautiful people like just embracing their skin skin doesn't change anything about your beauty you know and about who you are the way you shine and i wish i would have seen more of that when i was young last night i rewatched young royals i love that they show skin with flaws and that they don't put filters on it they don't put makeup and they don't just cast people that have perfect skin you know but i wish i would have seen a show like that when i was young i wish i would have seen a show where it was okay to have like not perfect skin and be perceived as beautiful, be like the main character of the story. I think that's something that I'm really happy that it's changing now. I'm really glad for like the future generation and the generation that's grown up with that. And I myself still find myself often putting filters on my images and stuff just because I don't want people to see that I have a pimple. Like it's not that bad, it's just skin. Anyways, it just, uh, I wish that that would change in our society. It is very common, like it's something that a lot of people struggle with and still there's not that much that you see of it. Just saying. My skin now, as you can see, is quite nice. I'm happy with it. I still obviously get pimples and breakouts. I actually took Accutane. It's a medication that just like dries out your skin. I actually had to be on birth control for that. Yeah, I took that for a year and it was my last resort in a way, but I really wanted to take it and it did work. Every skin is nice. I emptied boxes of Vaseline for lips, nose and eye drops. You can get super dry and your skin peels off. It's actually really uncomfortable. Some people also really struggle with mental health throughout and give you like a mood swings and it can make you feel really sad it just really drains you as also in the beginning your skin gets much worse it's not good and if you put on makeup it's so dry that it flakes but eventually like everything comes out it's also normal to afterwards still get like breakouts we're human man and it always really took self-confidence from me and i wish i would have seen shows where the main character doesn't have perfect skin and there's nothing that is addressed. Barbie can also have acne, you know? I wish there was a Barbie with acne because I think that would be really cool. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get into my makeup because I will cover these pimples though. Sometimes you also wanna slay and makeup is nothing bad. Ta-da. She's done. So yeah, basically about my speech that had to come out. Hey, what are my plans for the day? I'm meeting a friend today. Have some bubble tea. Slay. I love bubble tea. It's my one of my favorite drinks. In the beginning, I never really tried it and then I got really into it. I had a really good time at the theater. We ended up realizing that it was canceled because it's due to illness of one of the actors. We got to see a youth play, a young Berlin theater. I think the youngest was like 16 or 15 or something. It was called Nathan, Nathan the Wise. It was nice to see young people perform, perform. Child, it was nice to see young people perform. So much about that. I don't know why this turned into ASMR all of a sudden. But I love autumn and I love Halloween season. I'm from Cologne. We love carnival there. Halloween is kind of, you know, close to that, I guess. I actually haven't celebrated carnival in so long, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for Halloween. Maybe there's going to be something about that in the vlogs, too. <gasps> oh my god, Maggie. Well, I came at the right time, it seems. So 
some bubble tea, a friend and I. Now I'm just walking through Berlin. This is the first time I'm vlogging alone outside. Definitely something you have to get used to. I live in Schöneberg, leaking my address. I'm just now right next to Gedächtniskirche, which is a church that got destroyed in the Second World War. They just kept it in its destructed state to remind everyone what the war does, to also be like a reminder of what happened in Second World War and things like that cannot repeat. This area is more like a touristic area, like there's a lot of tourists here. We just had some Indian food and some doner. It's the Bikini Berlin, a shopping center. It's all like boutique stores. So I think I've officially kind of gotten used to Berlin again. Oh, my toast. Have you gone from Berlin for a while coming back? I talked to this about a friend yesterday. I don't know, nothing's changed. Like it's literally, I mean, makes sense. Like just because you were gone, obviously nothing has changed, but it's a mess sometimes. It's just really full. I love my apartment. I love being here, but coming back to Berlin is nice. But also always really overwhelming. It's just every time you go out, you witness something happening. Actually, like more than one thing. Everybody kind of also like looks, but at the same time, it's also really fun. You don't get me wrong. The other day we came out and I'm like, oh, how is it being back in Berlin? I was like, it's so. The second that was said, there was a guy screaming at her, like, get the fuck away from here. Like, if you come back, I call the police. That's exactly how it is. Anyways, bye bye. I think my cat, he is not approving of my feminism and of my posters on the wall. I woke up this morning and I heard like paper scratches and until now I hadn't realized where that sound came from. I have this poster on the wall. He has the balls to go really big. So I added that S to say she has the balls to go really big. The paper scratching, I realized it was Milo ripping off the S. Not her. He's probably annoyed that he did that. Right, Maggie? Am I right? And it's back on. Are so pretty. <laughs> Up. Spin. Sit. Up. Sit. Paw. Up. Yes. Spin. Sit. Good boy. Maggie can do it too. She's not as good of a performer as Milo is. I wanted to demonstrate it with the ideal student. We'll give her a treat though. She's a good girl. You wanna do that too? I am gonna order a new coffee machine now because I was gone for a month from this apartment and I left my coffee tap inside the machine that I had used and it was wet. It started to mold and now there was mold for one month in the coffee machine. I tried to clean it but the coffee does not taste the same. And before I'm gonna like mold myself, <laughs> I am gonna get a new machine. And I was thinking about getting a filter machine. So we're gonna order that now. This is probably gonna be the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have anything that you wanna see in the future, if you have any questions, if you have any content that you would like to see, just comment down below. Please go and like the video, um, click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. There will be more content coming every week. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great week.